Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm getting my morning started. Hope you're having a good morning too. I have a sip of coffee, get my morning started. Hope you have something that you can uh, join me with. Hey, let's get our morning going. So today is empathy for authority. There's Remember, there's five, and we went through caring, fairness, uh, loyalty, sanctity, and this is authority. Now, sanctity and uh, authority have a little bit in common. You know, remember I told you that sanctity had a lot to do with doing things that are maybe appropriate when there isn't authority when there isn't somebody overseeing you or telling you what to do authority is uh coming from a different viewpoint i have a lot of friends that have a lot of empathy with people with authority um i have a a friend who is a a, a strong i shouldn't say strong but he he probably votes Republican most of the time. I don't know. I don't actually ask people how they vote. But he did tell me that no matter who gets elected in office, he always prays for them because they have, he says they always have a tough decision. And he always listens to what they have to say. That being said, um, sometimes we have authorities that overstep or misrepresent, and there are people that push back against that. There are people that push back against that to the point where they cause issues for others and there's people that push back in the paths that are more set up by the society that we have developed authority can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing um i use i read a book uh, called the history of the world Hmm. It was from a Muslim Muslim perspective. I'll see if I can find it and put it down in the show notes. But in the book, the author who was born and raised in uh, uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan before he came to the U.S. and started doing history, uh, took the opportunity to write a book outlining some of the history. And one of the things that he mentioned in the authority aspect in the book was he said a lot of times in Muslim countries, they had technology long before uh, North America did. And I'm sorry, Europe, North, West, part of the continent in Europe. But the, one of the reasons why they didn't use it was because a lot of times technology tends to uh, reduce jobs that are old or unnecessary. Uh, he gave the example, you, you could create a, you could have a lot of people doing sewing at a, a, a textile company and if they got a textile uh, machine in there, they could get rid of a lot of the jobs. But in a tightly structured Muslim society, that authority would come from the Muslim clerics who would come to the owners and say, Yes, you may get more money and it may be more profitable, but think about your brothers and sisters and what it does to them. So they would they would have pressure on them, which they 
respected very much to not continue on. So that was a that was an example of authority that was to the detriment of uh, improving the overall uh, structure of the, the place. Because the truth is, usually those textiles would not only be done with less people, they'd also be cheaper. And you could take those people that were doing it and they could actually expand and create more and pay make more inexpensive stuff for others. So that's an example where authority should not have been listened to or was a, a detriment. And then you have the United States who had the authority of the British monarchy overseeing the colonies. And the United States didn't listen to that authority. There was a lot of work, a lot of authority. Uh, now I have to throw a ball. Ah, good catch. So, authority, empathy with authority is, uh, it's a tough one. It's one that people pick and choose a little bit on it. There's people that uh, listen to what authorities say, and there's people that don't. There's a My wife and I currently don't listen to health authorities. And one of the things we do is we uh, tend to eat more eggs and fat than uh, is currently recommended by the Food and Drug Administration in the United States. We tend to eat a little less carbohydrates and have more fat in our diet for uh, energy and sustainability. Uh, Anyways, that's what we do. So, empathy with authority is. really a tough subject. But the important point is not so much that uh, understanding it as much as it is understanding the empathy of it when it comes to systems. We have a, a strong tendency to believe authority and have an empathy with it. And it varies from person to person. Some people are anarchists and they really don't care much about empathy with authority. And there are people who are really structured around it. One of the things that I run into, well, one of the things I remember is uh, going to a jury trial and the jury was asked if the law says this and we show you that the person broke what the law says would you find them guilty my answer what? Uh, no. Because when the raw law was written, 
it was written to apply in a certain way. And the reason we have jury trials is to say whether or not that law actually applies to that person and what the circumstances were around that person's decision to not abide by that law. That actually is more controversial than you would think. The, uh, there's a lot of people out there that uh, would be annoyed with what I just said. They are uh, much more by the, what they call by the book. And there are uh, people that would say that that is Ignoring that authority, that legal authority, is something that uh, we shouldn't do. <coughs> so, empathy with authority. So when you interact with somebody on systems, there's going to be some that believe the system should not be modified because it is the way it is. It was laid down by an authority. That's not something you have to dissuade somebody from. It is just important that you remember that, that is one of the key things that they may or may not believe in about the system. <coughs> so just keep those things in mind as you go through your day. There are people that are going to really try to work within the bounds of an authority. And there are people who are going to think a lot less because it comes from authority. There are rebellious people. <coughs> so it doesn't doesn't make person good or bad if they believe in authority or they rebel against the authority. Like I said, my wife and I rebel against some health authorities. <clears throat> but on the other hand, we have uh, a lot of respect for uh, a lot of other authorities in our world. We know there's a lot of people out there that are working really hard to be uh, good stewards of our world and of the elected positions that they are involved in. <clears throat> so you guys have a good day, and we'll talk to you next time. <coughs> now that we've talked about the empathies, maybe we'll talk about some systems and talk about how the empathy affects or can improve that system. Talk to you later.